Что за место? Father, in Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this opportunity once again. Accept and thanks today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are approaching your throne of thanksgiving. Be among us today. Amen. Let us feel your hand among us. Amen. At the end of today's service, let us have all reason to say thank you, Lord. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, we are declaring this service open. Let's start today's service with the opening hymn, hymn number 20. Ose, Ose, Riri. start to confess our sins before the Almighty God. Let us remember in one way or the other that we have come short of the glory of God this week. Let us have the flashback 
of those things we have said, our thought, our commitment that has been against the will of God. Let us confess them before the Almighty God this morning and pray that God should be in his infinite mercy be massive enough to forgive us all these iniquities so that they will not stand as a, a stumbling block against our prayer today. Let us also remember to pray that God should create on, in us a new heart, a new spirit. May God forgive all our sins Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and glory to the Holy Spirit. Let the church of God with a humble heart read this psalm after me. Out of this house have we cried unto you, Lord. Lord, hear our voice. Let the hear be attentive to the voice of our supplications. If thou, Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall I stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou may be feared. We wait for the Lord, our soul dwelt wait, and in your word do we hope. Our soul wait for the Lord, more than they that watch for the morning. We say, more than they that watch for the morning. Let the church of God open the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him there is plenty of redemption, and he shall redeem us from all our iniquities. Amen. Glory be to the Father, glory be to the Son, and glory to the Holy Spirit. The heaven declared the glory of God, and the firmament showed his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night showed knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone how through all the heart, and their word to the hand of the world. In them are they set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoice as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the hand of the heaven, and in circuit unto the hand of it. And there is nothing high from it thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making the wise the simple. The stature of the Lord is right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the heart. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than good. Ye that much find good, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is a servant warned, and in keeping them there is a great will. Who can understand his error? Clean us from all our secret faults. Keep us back, thy servant, also from the presumption sins. Let them not have dominion over us. Then we shall be upright, and shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the word of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be accepted in your sight, O Lord our strength, and our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, glory be to the Son, and glory to the Holy Spirit. The heart is the Lord, and their fullness thereof. The word and they that dwell therein, for he had founded it upon the sea, and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? All shall stand in his holy place. He that had a clean hand and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor soiled sinfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of our salvation. Amen. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek their face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gate, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Amen. Who is this king of glory? The Lord is strong and mighty. The Lord is mighty in battle. 
Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you because of this gift of life. We thank you because of your protection and provision this week. Accept our thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our Father and our God, we have started this year. You have been our Alpha. You will be our Omega at the end of this year. That's why we are giving you this stance this morning. Accept and thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We have come to your throne this morning to confess our sin because we don't want them to be a stubborn block. We don't want them to be a, an hindrance to our prayer this morning. Kindly forgive us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Your word says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that is why we don't want your glory to go in vain in our life. This morning, forgive us in Jesus' mighty name. Gener generational sin, or the one we have committed by ourselves, the one we force other people to commit on our behalf, kindly be merciful enough this morning and forgive us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our Father and our God, we want you, O Lord, to create in us a new spirit, a new heart that will sin no more. The spirit of you that will make us flee away from sin, create in us this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our Father and our God, we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the holy blood of Jesus to sanctify and purify us in Jesus' mighty name. All the four corners of this church, all the entrance, physical and spiritual, let be sanctified in Jesus' mighty name. Our body, our soul, our service unto the mighty hand this morning, let them be sanctified in Jesus' mighty name. We pray for that Holy Spirit of yours. Your hand that will do marvelous things, which has been doing in the past. We want to feed the same power today. Dwell among us today in Jesus' mighty name. We don't want to come in in vain. We don't want to go back home in vain. We have come to visit you. You must visit us in all ramification of our life. In all situations of our life. We want to see you today. Manifest yourself among us today in Jesus' mighty name. Everything we shall be doing today. Let it be in accordance to the world, O oh Lord. Let it be in accordance with your ordinances, O Lord. At the end of today's service, let each and every one of us ask one reason or the other to say thank you, Lord, for we believe and pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Lord, no. Honor be to thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily, daily bread. bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord of seal and affirmation, seal and affirm our prayer today. Let the word of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in your sight. For we believe and pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Hosanna. Salvation. Salvation. Let's give glory to God. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving and appreciation hymn. Hymn number 200. O oh Lord, my God. <coughs> Thank you. 
Baba Gopa, what? Oh, what by you were? I took a full my gem when you know it, Joy. I took a jet that came my gem when you called D. Baja. Baba Gopa, what? Oh, what by you were? And then you can talk about Capeny, and then you're all down. Baba, me at your norm. Baba Drupa, Nibo Bono, I drupa. Lori, I want more, I drupa. Lori, I say, Yori, or Rico, I drupa. Baba Bope, wa. Oh, you are buying you, wa. Baba Bope, wa. Baba, a kai katon lorini. I want only katon lor. Oh, Guri, no guide it and shanker. Bobo, a mota and sado funka. Baba Bope, wa. Oh, Lori, I'm not buying you, wa. Se be ni eni eni buburu koko ni subulu wa eni be ni arun kanu koko ni sun wa ile wa gbogbo ileri won yi le mu se fun wa oluwa baba gbo pe wa oluwa gba eyin wa e ti e ba wa lo gege bi se wa ni gbogbo ona le fin fi anu ba wa lo ni gbogbo ona le fin fi anu ba wa gbe baba gbo pe wa oluwa gba eyin wa titi lai lai la ma yin yin titi lai la la ma gbe yin ga ogo ni foruko yin Jesus, a barawa. O Lord of affirmation, seal and affirm our thanksgiving today, for we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Salvation. Let's give glory to the Lord. Please, y'all be seated for the reading of the first lesson. The first lesson. Our first lesson for the second Sunday in the year 2022 shall be taken from the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, beginning from verses 13 to 19. The book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, beginning from verses 13 to 19. Isaiah 7. 13 to 19, I read. And he said, Yea, yea now, O house of David, is it a small thing for you to weary men? But will ye weary my God also? 14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. 15. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. 16. For before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land that thou abhorrest shall be forsaken of both our kings. 17. The Lord shall bring upon thee and upon thy people and upon thy father's house days that have not come from the day that Ephraim departed from Judah, even the king of the Assyrian. 18. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall heed from the fly that is in the uttermost part of the rivers of Egypt and for the peace that is in the land of the Assyrian. The last verse 19. And they shall come and shall rest all of them in the desolate valleys and in the holes of the rocks and upon all thorns and upon all bushes. May the Lord bless his words.
morning, church. Good morning, church. Our second lesson will be taken from the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 1 to 11. Philippians 2, 1 to 11. If you are there, say, I am there. If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercy, too, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord of one mind. And three, let nothing be through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem other better than themselves. For look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. And five, let his mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Six, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Seven, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Eight, and being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And nine, wherefore God also had highly exalted him. Somebody say amen. Amen. And giving him a name which is above every name. Amen. That at the name of Jesus, amen. every knee should bow. Amen. Of things in heaven, amen. things in earth, amen. and underneath the earth. Amen. Eleven and the last. And that every tongue, everybody say that every tongue, every tongue should, confess should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. This is the word of the Lord to the people of God. Glory be to the Father, to the Son. Apostles' Creed. Let us reaffirm the article of our faith. And the church will say, I believe in God the Father Almighty. I believe in God the Father Almighty. Maker of heaven and heart. Maker of heaven and heart. And in Jesus Christ. And in Jesus Christ. His only Son, our Lord. His only Son, our Lord. Who was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Who was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Born of the Virgin Mary. Born of the Virgin Mary. Suffered under Pontius Pilate. Suffered under Pontius Pilate. Was crucified. Was crucified. Dead and buried. Dead and buried. He descended into hell. He descended to hell. The third day. The third day. He rose again from the dead. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He ascended into the heaven. And sit at the right hand of God. Sit at the right hand of God. The Father Almighty. The Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost. I believe in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Church of the Elect. The Holy Church of the Elect. The communion of sins. The forgiveness of sins. The resurrection of the body. And the life everlasting. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And also with our spirit. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father and our God, in the name of Father, Lord, we thank you for another day in thy presence. We exalt your holy and awesome name, O Lord. Our Father, this is your doing and it's marvelous to us, O Lord. 
Jehovah in heaven accept our thanksgiving. Amen. Our Father, we have come, O oh Lord, to you as a church. We pray, O oh Lord, for that gift, O oh Lord. The Bible says the book of James chapter 1, verse 17, that all good gift and perfect gift come from above. Our Father, as we look unto thee, O Lord, above, Father, grant us all the gift, O Lord. Amen. The gift, our Father and our God in heaven, that we require in our lives. They require the gift, that the unique gift, O Lord, that we exhibit that uniqueness in us. Our Father and our God, never from above, deliver unto us. Amen. As individuals, Amen. as families, and as a church. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we are praying. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. we come unto you this morning. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will count us worthy of your mercy. Amen. Father, Lord Jesus, we pray, O oh Lord, that in all our ways, Father, you will be with us, O oh Lord. Amen. God of provision, we pray that you will provide for us. Amen. Father, physically provide for us. Amen. Spiritually, Father, meet us at the point of our Amen. needs. Father, emotionally, Father, we ask that you provide for us in Jesus' name. God of blessing, we pray that you bless us, O oh Lord. Bless us so we can be a blessing to others. At this point, Father, we ask for your peace, O oh Lord. Peace in our homes, Amen. in our hearts, Father, Amen. let your peace reign, O oh Lord. Amen. All over the world, Father, let your peace reign, O oh Lord. Amen. God of upliftment, we pray that you uplift us, O oh Lord. Amen. Father, uplift your church, O oh Lord. Amen. Each and every individual, Father, uplift us. Amen. This we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Ni Uruko Jesu. Amen. Ni Uruko Jesu. Amen. Ni Uruko Jesu. Amen. Uluwa Olorun Olorumare. Uluwa Olorun Abu. Iwo lo Olorun Abu wa iwo lo da wa ti dojo ni. Iwo Olorun ni Oluwa pada to lu gberi wa soke. I'm a poor doer, Lally Sati. I'm a poor no little shidia no abore boy. What would you look so ni no roni and two bad joke could be cock or gag do my bear build did you look to marry? What would you look only go see cake any at you? And it to bad jaddy low row to wall a late unimi at you. Into the agbara ati dan dewe ati kwe igba gbota ni re po ni ko lo le pa wa mo la se wo le ni waju e ni oburo yi nje olorun abu mashallah abu wa amen lenu se wa mashallah abu wa amen ninu le wa mashallah abu wa amen ninu imi ke vidu odi aye yi oluwa mashallah abu wa amen nje wa sumo ite anu we lo ni into ya mo po wo lo le pa wa mo Lori o mo dewa se abore lori o Lori awon baba wa awon oya wa Oluwa wa shalabu lori gbogbo wa Nju Oluwa ro mo ti anu re ba ko Olorun len ko si Oba tin pa ni mo pa wa mo Amen Ninu aja kale an to wa lodi aye loni Oluwa ma ye ka ni pin ninu re Olorun abo awo adu wa sinu e je odagun ton ni wa ka to to so le oke kan fari oni omi ara re kon sile ile si ru mu o si gba alaafia nje oluwa olorun awon ogun olorun kerebu olorun serafu abore ti owo aye kan ko le ka oluwa sijibo wa olorun amen abore ti osho ati aje ti to wa ri waju ogun olorun oluwa da abore bo wa fi anu e ma ba wa lo ma se fi wa sile nigba kan kan ti bi ba lo ni waju oluwa ma ye ka ka ba to ba nbo leyin ko ma se ba wa olorun iya wa ya ibi olorun iya wa ya ibi olorun o du anu re ba jo ko so le wa lo ka wo le wa fin ati ola to ye foruko mi mo re jesus christ oluwa wa amen oluwa olorun ase baba tin fi asese adura e be wa ibere wa le ni baba be a fi asese leyin o gbogbo te ka le fi opa ti foruko nla yin Nitori pe agbagbo agbadura ni oruko Jesu Christi alagba wi wa ha mi ha mi ha ni oruko hallelujah hosanna salvation let's give glory to the lord amen 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 in jesus name please 
if you are fellowshipping with us for the first time, please wave your hand wherever you are. Please, shall we welcome them to the house of God? You are welcome, welcome, welcome in the name of, of the Lord. Lord. You are welcome, welcome, Please welcome, welcome, go welcome, welcome them. To the church Shake your hands. We can see in you. Women, the you glory can do that too. Of the Lord. You are welcome, 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 welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome, welcome, welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome, 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 welcome to the church body. The Lord is good. All the time. All the time. All the Sir, you are welcome to the house of God. This is the house of your father. Uh, the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 1. It said there is no condemnation for them that are in Christ Jesus. We are father of the same children. I mean, we are children of the same father. You are welcome to your father's house. The name of our church is Kerry and Seraphim Movement Church. Uh, Chicago number one, a.k.a. City Bible Church. We have uh, Bible preaching, Bible believing, spirit-led church. Uh, if you do not have an home church, like I said before, you are home in the presence of your Father. Shall be well with you in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And our Father on the altar too, uh, like our Father said this morning, he has not met you before. And uh, myself too, I have not met you before. He shall be well with you. You are Amen. home. Once again, we welcome you to House of God. It shall be well with all of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Please shall we stretch our hands towards him and tell the Lord this day that he stepped into this sanctuary that the Lord should do a good thing in his life. That good thing that we will not forget for the rest of his life. Prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, name Father, Lord, we thank you. We bless you, O Lord, for thy son. Father, continue to be with him. Continue to bless him. This day that you step into this sanctuary, you pray for that one great thing. One great thing that you will not forget in your life that the Lord do it for you. In Jesus' name we are praying. Our Father and our God in heaven, Father Lord, we thank you, we bless you. We give you glory, we give you honor, O Lord. The Bible, the Lord Jesus himself said, John 6, 44, No one come to me except those that are drawn by my Father. Our Father, this is no mistake that our Father is in this house. Our Father, as thou hast brought him here, O Lord, that thing, O Lord, that will be indelible. Our Father, now our God in heaven, for good, let it be done in his life. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. O God, that seals and affirm prayer. Amen. Father, Lord, seal and affirm our prayers. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hosanna, salvation. Let's give glory to the Lord. Uh, people of God, let us remain standing while the choir will go into the hymn for 12 noon prayer. The hymn for 12 noon prayer. Let us all remain standing. God bless.
my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thy hair to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock. For an house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, thy name, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privilege for me. For thou art my strength. Into thy hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Deliver me from the hands of my enemy, and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me from thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Attend unto my prayer. From the hand of the heart will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than high. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wing. For thou, O Lord, hast heard the vow thou hast given me, the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou will prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. Oh, prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever that I may daily perform my vows.
second Sunday year 2020 and the day is still going. In these few days of this year, a lot has been, a lot has happened. The good, the bad, the ugly. But here you and I, we are in the presence of the Most High who spare our life. I need you to open your mouth and continue to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Continue to appreciate him. Hallelujah. Continue to praise him Hallelujah. for saving you, Hallelujah. for preserving you, Hallelujah. for keeping you in perfect peace. You and your household, you and your church, all that pertains to you. The Lord has not forsaken you. He has not abandoned you. He continues to visit you. He continues to guide you. He continues to protect you. Will you appreciate him? Will you bless him? Will you open your mouth? Will you thank the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings? Will you open your mouth to appreciate the Most High? The Lord with him all things are possible. The Lord who visited you in a miraculous way. The Lord who delivered from the battles of days and night. Open your mouth. Appreciate him. Bless him. Lift up your voice. Praise him. Praise him, praise him. Let every person that have his breath in him praise him. We are going to praise the Lord into salvation. We are going to praise the Lord into victory. We are going to praise the Lord and receive his mercy. We are going to praise the Lord and continue to benefit from his grace. Open your mouth and praise he who has power. He whose, who, whose power cannot be stopped by anybody, any principality. On here, at here, in any space, under the need, open your mouth and press him. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Jesus' name. Scripture said the days are evil. But with prayer, we can redeem it. It is obvious that this year alone, as young as it is, we've, had, we've been told that the pandemic is still ongoing. But he promised us, with our eyes we will see. It will not come near us. Amen. With our eyes we will see. Amen. It will not be in our harbor. Our house shall not turn to desolation. Amen. I need you to thank the Lord in, in a prayer of thanksgiving. That that which you have promised, that you will keep me and my household and my church in perfect peace, you will bring into pass. That with my eyes I will see, with my ear I will hear. But no pandemic will become my portion, will not be portion of my church, will not become portion of my household. Turn it to a prayer of appreciation. Father, in the name of Jesus. This is the prayer, your prayer of faith. Believing that the Lord who speaks, his words are yea and amen. He said 10,000 will fall by our side. And 10,000 at our right hand. Now we come to our world. Now we come to our house. Now we'll be part of all. We will only see and hear. Our house will not be turned into desolation. Thank him because the Lord who promised is not a man that will lie. Trust, bless him, appreciate him for what he says. We come to pass. His words are yea and amen. Open your mouth, people of the Lord, and bless the Lord. This is the Lord who can do what no man can do. If he promises that he has seen you through 2022, you can take it to a bank. Though Satan, so Satan may harass, though enemy may rave their hand, but he who sees in the throne will open his mouth and slap them into scorn. Thank him, thank him. You have seen what he has done. That is a testimony that he can do more and more. But you need to appreciate him. Our attitude will determine our attitude. The more we are able to appreciate him, the more we are able to thank him, the more our God is willing to do. The Bible says he's able to do abundantly, exceedingly, greatly, and even beyond what we are able to expect. He knows us before we were formed. He knows what we desire. Yet, he said we should open our mouth. I need you to open your mouth. I need you to open your mouth. You are just blessing him, thanking him, appreciating him. Thank him for his faithfulness.
Thank him, thank him. Do not be weary. We are going to thank the Lord to celebrate his promises in our life. We are going to appreciate him to enter into his glory. Continue to appreciate him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him with all his all your heart. Bless him with all your strength. Let every soul, let every man that has his bread, bless the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. David said, The Lord is my refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. You are going to commit yourself to the Lord. Lord, I beseech you, be my refuge and strength in this year and years ahead. Turn it into prayer. Turn it into prayer. Commit yourself to prayer. Commit yourself to the Lord. The, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous and they are safe. We have no power of our own. But we have he who has every power. We have him who possesses all power. The Bible says every power in heaven and earth has been given unto him. Seek him. Approach him. Approach the throne of mercy. The veil has been cut. You have access to him. He who has power to protect you. The Bible says the right hand of God dwells valiantly. I need you to step into that mind. Tap into that power. So that this year, it will be another year of success. You will not be a, you will not be a victim. You will not be a statistics of both pandemic or even COVID or whatever they call the name. You will not be an incident. You will not be a statistics. Plead the blood of Jesus that the Lord should continue to be with you. That the Lord should order yourself. That the Lord should protect you. Bow Lord Sorrow. Commit yourself, commit your family to the Lord. Things is going to continue to happen in this world. There is nothing we can do about that. It is only those the Lord keep. It is those people, it's only people that the Lord save. That, that the only people that he keep that, he can, that are saved. Pray that the Lord should keep you safe. That should keep you and your household safe. That no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Every satanic agenda should be thwarted. Commit to yourself. Plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are still praying. Hey, 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 Jesus, man. David also said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stand of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Jesus himself said, I am the light. He said, Whoever walk in me will not walk in darkness forever. We want to commit, we want to commit ourselves, our household, our church to the Lord. The Lord, you are the light. Continue to be the light of my life. Oh Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Continue to be my light. Do not let me enter darkness. Prayer. If you walk in God's light, it is obvious that you will not be trapped. You will not be ensnared by any principality, by any negative force. The Lord will order your step. The Lord will order your way. His word is a lamp. Pray that he should make his word a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. It is only in his light, it is only through his light that we can see and we can make progress. The word is already covered with everything negative. The word is already covered with darkness. It is only with his grace that we can navigate it. We cannot do it in our own power. We cannot do it in our own intellect. But when we run into him, when we tap into his, his power, he will guide us through. He will see us through. He will send us through. He will walk the journey with us. And we will end up and end up well.
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We have decreed that we we cross over to take over. That has been established. Amen. Amen. We are going to remind the Lord that everything that we have lost, everything that we have depossessed in the previous years, as we are marching, marching forward in this 2022, the Lord should visit us. He should replace everything we have lost in multiple fold. He said, when the, cap <coughs> Someone, he said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. What so for Lord? Father, in this new year, do a new thing for me. That the world will celebrate me. Oh Lord Jesus, do a new thing for me. There are things that eyes have not seen. Things that he have not heard. Do it unto me and my household. And cause the people to celebrate me. All to your glory. Turn it into prayer. Turn it into prayer. Turn it into prayer. We, we, you, want God to, you want people to celebrate you in the, the glory of the Lord. Everything that you have lacked. Every door that you have been locking that remain closed. That heaven should open it. You want to enter into transformation. You want to enter into new glory. You want to enter to, to God's mercy. You want to enter into God's favor. That God should take you into his new no, your choice, to another realm. That his name will be glorified. People of the Lord, you cannot be tired. This is what we have. This is what we have. This is the power that nobody can contend with us. This is the power that nobody can wrestle from us. You need to tap into it. The people, the rich, the mighty are falling. They are befell by the power of the world, the satanic agenda. But he who ran to the cross, he said, he will keep us in perfect peace. I want you to decree with your mouth. For he said, whatever that we decree or not shall be established in heaven. If you will open your mouth today, according to his covenant promise in this church, the Lord has turned the church into a mountain. And he said, whatever we ask, he's going to give unto us. He said, we look into him directly through the covenant of God. He even said, whatever we pray, we should believe it. the second covenant of mercy. I need you to tap into that. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy of me. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. You need to continue to tell the Lord. But Lomu did not keep quiet, people. He did not keep quiet. He shouted at the voice at the top of his voice. He said, Jesus Christ, son of David, have mercy on me. Will you raise your voice today? Will you pray and beg that God should have mercy on you today? He's here. He said, Call me when I am near. The Lord is near to those them that call him. The Lord is here today. Will you call him or will you be looking? Will you call him? Will you be dosing? Will you call him? Will you, will you, will you will your mind still be wandering at him? Everything that your heart desires that the Lord should release unto you. The Lord says that he will not deny good things for those who walk righteously because of the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Seek him and pray that the Lord should visit you. That which, that, that which your heart desires. That which people know is your body, is your limitation. Tell God to call you by a new name. He said that before I will do a new name, that the mouth of the Lord will proclaim. Tell the Lord to do new things into your life into your business, into your home, into your health, into whatever that into your finances. When the Lord turned again, the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue and singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord had done great things. The Lord had done great things for us. We are for we were glad. Tell the Lord that he will do a new thing to you. Things that will make your heart glad. Things that will cause the hidden to come and celebrate the, the, the goodness of the Lord in your life. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. You have been sowing in, in, in tears. 
You have borne the night. You have wet your pillow with your tears. The Lord is now here. He's ready to wipe your tears. Will you tell him you are available? Will you position yourself? Will you position yourself? No matter the way you look at it, he's going to visit you, he's going to touch you. But you need to desire him. You need to ask. The Bible says we should ask. He said, ask and it shall be given. Will you open your mouth today? This is another opportunity. The days of our life is like rolling river. It's going. Whatever you declare today is going with the minute. The authority that contains in this minute, in this second. Will you send the second? Will you send your message through the angel that walk in minute and second to convey to the heat that can meet your need? Position yourself to take over. 2022 cannot be like 2021. Button must change hand. Power must change hand. Every covenant, every negative covenant that has been retarding your progress has been broken. That covenant has been has, has, has been battered and destroyed. Now we are in a new covenant. The covenant of new day. The covenant of supernatural turnaround. It is now left for you to seek the Lord. Tell the Lord you are ready. Your life should be turned around for good. Your head should be turned around for good. Your finance should be turned around for good. Your marriage should be turned around for good. That which your heart desires, that the Lord should turn it around so people will celebrate you. People who have been mocking you should come back and celebrate the faithfulness of God in your life. Open your mouth and speak to him. Commune with him. Dialogue with him. His ear is not, is not deaf to hear us. His hand is not heavy to save us. But will you position yourself? Will you seek him when he's near? The Lord is near, people. The Lord is near. Will you approach him? Will you seek him? Will you seek him? Will you commit yourself to him? Will you commit your house to him? Will you commit the church of the Lord unto him? We have a lot of things that we have to do in this new year. We have to set the pace. Put everything in the hand of the Lord. The Lord who knows the time and season that every good thing that you have planned to do this year will not meet you in your grave. Bow alone, sorrow. Bow alone, sorrow. Bow alone, sorrow. Don't be tired. This is the time to pray. There is time for everything. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. The most gracious Father, eternal rock of glory. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for being our mediator. Thank you for being our savior. Thank you for the grace of adoption as sonship and daughter in your, in your kingdom. We glorify you eternally in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, today the second Sunday in the year 2022, we as a church, we have come to you one more time. We have presented our supplications. For we know only you can do what no man can do. For your words are yea and amen. And you know your purpose for us, O oh Lord. Every good purpose, every plan of good future that you have. Father, this year, let them begin to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, every area of our need that our enemy knows and they are mocking us. Things that we cannot even discuss even with our pastor, our prophet. Things that we are even ashamed to even pray, open out or pray in the public. You are the Lord who sees our heart. Father, you are the Lord who will see our heart. Because of your promise that you have a good plan, plan of good future for us. Father, do not allow anything to stop that good plan in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we have stepped into 2022. We overtake and we possess our possessions. Give us a testimony that people will see and celebrate us with you, O oh Lord. 
Thank you because you deserve many more for us, Lord. Be thou eternally glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh Lord, that answers prayer. Amen. Grant our hearty desires. Amen. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Hosanna. Salvation. Salvation. Let's give glory to the Lord. Amen. 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 In Jesus' Amen. name. Please let us all remain standing for the aim for sermon. Aim for sermon. Let us let us remain standing. Aim for sermon. <laughs> confession we're having in there. Thank you. Please come out. People of God, today we are supposed to discuss 
something that is very, very important. And I want to lay a basic and to reveal something to you today at this hour. Who knows the topic for today? In the name of Jesus. Please listen to this. In the book of Genesis, the Bible said God made a garden and he put Adam and who in there? And he told them two things. Do this, don't do this. But the Bible said the enemy of the brethren, Satan, came to make them to sin. And I want to stress one thing today that sin is rebellion. He made the woman and the man to rebel against God. Are you following the story now? I want to spend these five minutes. Watch my 30 minutes for me from now on, okay? So when the sin, of course, the Bible said when there's sin, there's going to be judgment. The Bible said for the wages of sin is what? Is death. Now, what happened is this. Sin, when God came down, the Bible said God always come at the middle of the day, the cool of the night. Amen? So when he came, when the sin, you know the story, I'm just trying to rush this thing because you know it. I just want to make some basic something. So the Lord God came and he said, Adam, Adam, where are you? Of course, God is omnipresent. omnipresent. He knows where everybody is. But what he was asking is not about positioning. Amen? But at the end of the day, he has to pass judgment unto them because they have sinned. If you can give me Genesis 3.14, I will observe it. The first thing he told snake, if you don't know, one of the things I want to tell you this is that snake used to be to stand. He used to stand. But in Genesis 3, 14, and the Lord said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, please, people in the video, I mean, you should, you should help me today, okay? Because I don't want to spend more than 30 minutes today. Thou art caused above all cattle and above every beast of the field, yes? Upon the belly shalt thou go. Which means, snake used to stand like you and her. But because of sin, the Lord caused him that from now on, you will not do what? That is number one. When God came there, when Satan came, he went to the woman. Because he knew the power in the woman, that it is by the woman that there will be more creation in the whole heart. Are you following the story now? Now, then God went to, went, to, uh, went to both male and female. Give me Genesis 3.15. Please, you have to follow me because we know the story, so I just want to make it short. In Genesis 3.15, in which God now says, he's not talking to the woman, and he's not talking to Satan, because Satan is the one that has made the woman to sin. Now, look at this. And God said, I will put a meeting between thee and what? And the woman. Which woman is he talking about? Even now. When God did that, God is now saying to Satan, even though you make a woman to sin against me, my authority, to rebel against me, I will also make sure that a woman will also make you and destroy you. Amen. Now, following that story again, please give me Revelation chapter, 10, chapter 12, please. In Revelation chapter 12, please go and read the whole story of Revelation chapter 12 when you get home. Amen? Amen. This thing is stopping me. It's too hot. In Revelation 12, you can start from verse 14. Please go and read it. Because, of, because Satan followed that woman, make her to disobey God. God is now saying that through that woman, no, give me, Gen um, sorry, give me Genesis uh, uh, 3.15 again, Mr. Adenergy, please. I just want to make this, because we want to talk about Jesus. We have to know where it came from. Amen? And he said, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her what? Her seed. The seed is the son. Amen? Not, not S-O-N. That is, that woman will bring another son that will come and conquer who? Conquer Satan. Okay. Revelation, Revelation chapter 10. In Revelation chapter 12, sorry, Revelation chapter 12, let's start from 14. We are not going to be able to read it because of my time. Okay. And he said, 
And to the woman, listen, look, God knows the end from what? From the beginning. He knew what he was going to do for redemption. So now in Revelation, God is now saying, and to the woman were given to what? Two wings of great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into a place where she is nourished for a time. Let me, let me let, just go and read. Let me tell you the story. So what happened is this, that when the Lord, David, when as Satan came down, now he wants to run after the woman. As he was running after the woman, he poured water so that the woman can be destroyed. Just like he destroyed the woman in the Old Testament. But however, despite the fact that Satan poured water, the heart opened so that the woman was able to escape. And in the book of James, what we are now saying is that that woman who escaped is who? Is our Lord Jesus Christ. And the seed of our mother Mary is who? Is our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you get the basic something? I rush it, but by now, I'm sure you are all Bible scholars. You know where I'm coming from. Amen? So Jesus did not just come overnight. He came purposely. Some of you don't understand. Jesus coming to the house is not that so I can go to heaven. No. Jesus came to heart so he can redeem us from the sin, so that we can be able to appear before God. In John 1, 29, John the Baptist said, Here I come, help me somebody, here I come the Lamb of God who has come to do what? Who has come out to take away the sin. Let us close our eyes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for what we are about to receive today. Speak to every one of us. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Let us be seated. I've just given you, we don't need that mic right now. Please put the mic down right now. We don't need that right now, please. Topic in the name of Jesus. People of God, the name of Jesus have been used any way we can. They use the name of Jesus to curse. They use the name of Jesus to do whatever they want to do. As a matter of fact, there are so many Jesus nowadays. When I was growing up in Nigeria, we used to have one Jesus of Oyibo. Some of you might not know who Jesus of Oyibo is, but Jesus of Oyibo died. If you go to Mexico, there are so many Jesus in Mexico than any part of the world. So the J-E-S-U-S does not even mean anything nowadays. Sometimes when, when we say that we pray in the name of Jesus, People think that the name of Jesus is something magical, something that you can just pray whatever you want to do and come and say my name of Jesus and you think that that is it. No, it is more than that. People of God, I want to impress onto your heart today. Since we are going into a supernatural uh, turnaround for this year, that there's something, couple of things we need to do in terms of uh, looking at the Lord Jesus Christ. In the book of John 13 verse 14, in the book of John 13, 14, Jesus is the one himself who said we should pray in his name. Uh, please, Mr. Adeniji, you have to work with me. I said, if we need to get a new system, let us get it. In John 13, 14, Jesus said, if I then, your Lord and Master, did I say John 13, 14? Mm -mm. John 14, 13, 14, please. John 14, 13 to 14. John chapter 14, 13, 14. Jesus is the one who said we shall pray in his name. Amen. Look, and whatsoever, Jesus is talking, ye shall ask in my name, that what, help me, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in. Quickly give me John 16, 23, please. In John 16, 23, the Bible says, in that day you will no longer ask me anything. Very truly I tell you, my father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Everybody say my name. In my name. In the name of Jesus. That's why sometimes in this place, we always tell you to pray in the name of Jesus. But I want to tell you that and someone, you can be asking the name of Jesus and you don't get the answer to your prayer because you are asking wrongly. I want to express to you my prayer life changed one year when I discovered something in the Bible. The Bible said in Psalm 64, 14 or something, he said, if there's any iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. I said, what? So if we want to come to the Lord and you have not confessed your sin, by the way, what is confession? Confession is agreeing with God that yes, I have sinned. Confession is saying it's not turning around. You know, that's, that's uh, what do I normally say? It's generic. 
Confession is agreeing with God. Now, I want to say something. In the book of 1 John 5, 14 and 15, 1 John 5, 14, 15, I want to show you something about prayer. That prayer is not, is, is legalistic. What do I mean by that? In 1 John 5, 14, which Allah Babelo likes, 14 and 15, please help me look at the Bible. We said, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, what does he do? He heareth us. It's not death. 15. And if we know that he hear us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions. Now, that is where I'm going. The word petition. The word petition itself is prayer. When you are making a petition, it means that you are trying to state a case. You are trying to do what? You are trying to state a case before the judge. So, which means when we want to pray, it means you are going to the judge. Who is the judge? In 2 Corinthians 5.10, the Bible said, we shall all see that the throne of mercy in which we are going to face the judge. So which means, if we want to come before the Lord, he that sees the, the secret heart will look at your heart. So when we want to pray, relationship is very, very important. In the book of John chapter 15, verses 1 and 2, John 15, 1 and 2, Jesus said, I am the vine, and my father is the vine dresser, and we are the branch. Are you getting the story now? <laughs> okay. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman, and you are the branch. And he said, if you abide in me, I will do what? I will abide in you. We read something earlier in which the Bible is saying that for me to answer your prayer, your petition, you must be in right standing with me. If we are not in right standing with God, if he sees our heart, we don't expect any supernatural turnaround. Are you following the story now? So in order to have a supernatural turnaround, we must have a relationship with God. That's why sometimes, another thing that changed my prayer, first, first John 3, 7, I think. 1 John 3, 7, that changed my prayer. Sometimes, some of us are not fit to, to, to pray. We are not fit to pray because what? Is it, is it 1 John 3, 17, I think. Hurry up. I think I'm rushing now. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. I don't want to follow all these things. 1 Peter 3, 7. 1 Peter 3, 7. And the reason I want to do this is because I don't want us to shut our own prayer down. Even before we kneel down, God might not answer our prayer because I already told you, if there is anything that is wrong in my heart, when you get home, go and look at the book of Jeremiah 17, 8, and 9. Just write it down. We don't have time. Another thing that really changed my prayer, my prayer, and, and for me to work well with my own wife, is this. In 1 Peter 3, 7, the Bible said, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to what? Knowledge, given honor unto the wife, as unto the what? Weaker vessel, and has been what? Heirs, together of the grace of life, that your prayers might not be what? Might not be hindered. Now, so, I was saying to myself, so, if I don't make peace with my wife, and I kneel down, and I want to pray, my prayer is already short. I have seen so many cases sometimes where the husband, when I was in Nigeria, why the husband think that his wife, people are, oh, yeah, won't lose you. And the reason is because he was not doing right with his wife. And the Bible said, if you are not in agreement with your wife, the Bible says that your prayer will be hindered. And you bring it. Hebrew 12 says that the Bible says you should be at peace with one another without which you two cannot do what? Enter into heaven. So don't let us deceive ourselves. If we want a supernatural turnaround, if we want a, a prayer to be automatic, because I always say that our prayer should be automatic. If we want our prayer to be automatic, there are some things we need to change in our lives. Don't let us deceive ourselves. Sometimes believers think that because they come to church, because they pay their tithes, because they work in the church, their prayer will be answered. No. 
I used to work under a woman, my CEO. My CEO, even his assistant, we do everything for that man. For my CEO, you, no matter what, you can open the door for her, you can give her the key, you can give her the money, but when the time comes, it will put you in your place. And I learned from that, whether you give me anything, some of you, you get angry with me because I will speak to you, I will speak the truth. It's okay. The same thing with God. You cannot come to church, pay your tithe because I'm paying my tithe, and some of us will be saying that, oh Lord, I pay my tithe. What, what tithe did you pay? It's not even 100% that you pay. Which money? You give to him. We must have a pure heart. Try. Do what? Try. You come to church to come and get revelation about your work. Don't deceive yourself. I talk about what common grace, which means I say that a time we come. The Bible said there was a time you were drinking milk, but a time must not come where you should stop drinking milk and doing what? And drinking milk. Meat. Jesus said we should pray his name. Amen. Amen. I've talked about my prayer change, why my prayer life changed. So for everyone that is under my voice now, your prayer should change. Amen. Another thing we need to do is this. We need to confess our sins. And I said confession is agreeing with God. You have to agree with God. You don't argue with God. Prayer is going to the judge that you know, this is my right. Help me. David, even though he killed a man, even though he had sexual whatever with another woman, when the Lord engaged him, he said, Father, forgive me. Unlike Saul, he was given authority, go and kill everything. He did not kill everything. Samuel came and said, so, have you done what everything God asked you to do? Saul said, yes. And then Samuel had some bala ba 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 And he said, what about all those things? He said, people made me do it. No matter what is happening in our life, even if you are having this agreement with someone, you cannot say somebody because he did this to me. He did that. God is not interested in that. You have sinned because you speak against your fellow person. So when you are coming to God, you need to be truthful to yourself and speak to God. Not because of your money, whatever that you are doing. God is not interested in what you are saying. God is, is interested in what he is saying. That's why I always say that most of the time when we are praying, we need to speak the word of God back to him. God knows what we want before we start. Before you kneel down, he knows your heart. He knows what you need. He says, seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added into it. Even that I was, a couple of years ago, I came to a stage in my life that when I saw the Bible, that even there's some things that we should not be asking for. We should not be asking for daily bread. He knew you need daily bread. He knew you need protection. And he has a plan for you. But what happened is that we are not truthful unto him. Confess your sins. Don't argue with God. Another thing is this. Whatever we do, Colossians 3.17, please. In Colossians 3.17, the Bible said in everything that we do, do you have it? Colossians 3.17, in everything that, that you say or do, do it to the glory of God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give him what? Give him thanks to God and the Father of him. Do you do everything to the glory of God? When you wear that clothes, where you leave your breasts, is that to the glory of God? When you are drinking wine and beer, is that to the glory of God? When you are talking about somebody else, is that to the glory of God? 1 Corinthians 10, 31. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. Because if we want to pray in the name of Jesus, and we really want him to answer us the way he wants to answer us, these are some of the things we need to clear. In 1 Corinthians 10, 31, the Bible said, everybody help me read, whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. I remember one year we were in, um, on Clark Street, 
and I was preaching about the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The Bible said life is in the blood. And I came into the conclusion that year that we must not eat blood because it is life. In America, some of you like steak. And they always give you steak. What do they call it? A real, real, real steak with blood. And one of my daughters came to me and said, Pastor, look like that message is for me. I said, what do you mean? He said, we are going to go out to eat steak. But I love real steak. Little, little things matter to God. Number three, another thing is this, is obedience. Obedience is very, very important. Before you kneel down to God, do you really obey? Do you really obey? Do you obey God? Can you imagine if my sons are grown now and uh, I ask them to do something, they don't do it. And then they want to come to me and say, Daddy, give me money. What do you think I will do? I them alone now. If they come to yeah, the same thing with God. You don't obey him. And then you want to kneel down for God to fight your battle. He will look at you. That go back. Now, if Jesus have asked us to pray, he said, Pray. I will answer your prayer. How come we are not praying? How come we are not praying then? How many minutes do you have for prayer in your, in your home? How many minutes do you have? Jesus already said, pray. After you have done all those things, you have made, you have made arrangements, you have now come in, in with God, and you have tried as much as possible, and even if you sin, the Bible said in 1 first, uh, first John 1, 9, we have one if we confess our sin is faithful and just to forgive us, blah, 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 you know the story. Do you pray? Do you pray? The Bible said in all things we should pray. Give thanks and pray. Whether you are in the car, you pray. Whether you are in the toilet, you pray. Whether you are cooking, you pray. In everything you pray. First Thessalonians 5, 18. Don't, don't write it down. Just write it down. He said that we should pray. Do you pray? Even though he has given you a child and said you can pray, pray. But you don't pray. We don't pray. The more that you pray, the more you are getting closer to God, and the more the Spirit will reveal to you, if at all there is any sin that is entering your prayer. What did I just say? Hello. He will reveal it to you. God is a revealer of secret things. The one that thinks that you are even hiding yourself, he will reveal it to you. And I have an, I'm an example of that. A couple of years ago, the sin that I even, I forgot about that. When I was in high school, the spirit in my dream, he made me, he took me to, to Nigeria, this street, and I remember right away. And I have to say, oh, Father, forgive me. He knew, he knew the sin that can be standing against us. If you want to turn around, you must pray. We must do what? <laughs> we must pray. Because he's very, he's a faithful father. We don't pray because we are very busy. We are very busy. And I'm also one of you. I just retired. I was working too. I go to work. I go to church. I pray. So nobody can say that he does not have time to pray. You have time to pray. If you have time to watch television, Nigeria movie for three hours, men, you have time to watch basketball, football for three or four hours, you have time to pray. You can be driving and praying. You can be cooking and praying. Whatever that you do, you can be praying. People of God, let's turn things around this year. Don't just come to church to come and pray. That's why sometimes some of you are having problems with us. When we say you come and give testimony, you think that you have to sing. You think that you have to shout forty hallelujah before you come and do your thanksgiving. If you have done that at home, you don't need it. I have a testimony. Sometimes when we are praying in here, I'm already exhausted praying. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not trying to shake myself. You know that. Because I've already done it at home. I'm 2 o'clock in the morning. I've done everything I want to do. And that's why we employ all those who are going to read the lesson, who are going to pray three people prayer, that you should have done that at home, not until when you get here. Supernatural turnaround is very, very important, but you have to work. Everybody say you have to work at it. 
You have to work at it. Don't just come to church before you start your prayer. Amen. Another reason why we don't want to pray is this. We always, people think that, well, God has made up his mind. Why do I have to pray? I don't have to pray. That's another mistake that we make. You know what? God changed his mind. Now, most of what is written in the Bible, the language they use is because that's the only language that human beings can hear. Jabez, God turned things around for him because he prayed. Don't say, well, God, is, well, God, that, and that's what happened to Saul. Eli, the same thing. Well, he said, well, if that's what God wants to do. Jonah is an example of somebody that can go and read Jonah. It's only four chapters. The Bible said that Jonah sinned. And at the end of the day, he prayed. When he was in that, he, he prayed. And he was supposed to go to Nineveh because God wanted to destroy that city. But because they repented, the Bible said God did what? God changed his mind. God changed his mind to the extent that Jonah was so upset. He said, God, isn't that what I'm saying? I know you are a compassionate God. I know that you are a good God. I know you are going to change your mind. No matter what the circumstances, that is why we are talking about supernatural turnaround. If we turn things around, don't just say, well, Jabez, uh, he did not say that. No matter what anybody or doctor says to you, I just had to do. I want to, I want to, I want us to do a prayer. Praise God. Please, everybody, listen to me. This is not part of my. It's not part of what I'm discussing. Blood. Blood is very, very powerful. Blood. Any disease that is happening to mankind is as a result of bad blood. B L O D. Whether the blood. Or it is, it is the blood. If there's going to be healing, it is the blood. If you take medication, the medication will have to go through the blood. When I was teaching group, in my, when I was working, one of the things they taught us is this. That blood is like, what is the company that goes about delivering? It's like FedEx. Blood is like FedEx. Blood deliver, thank you. Blood deliver, get everything to your body. I want everyone to, to pray at this hour. The Lord change my blood. Egbo ngati mo so eyan lo edure edure duro. Eje lo nse on gbogbo ni omi ara wa. Ati ti asan ba de eje mo npa e. Some people have low blood, high blood, everything high blood. If something is wrong with the blood, it is the body is messed up. Please close your eyes. For these 2 minutes eje ka gbadura. Oluwa fun mi ni eje tuntun. Eje lo o le tun o le tun ara se mo wo ko nu apo o fe gbadura o fo o sinu apo ni wajo Olorun. Eje ka gbada Oluwa eje ara mi. Turn into prayer whatever you want to say just In Jesus' mighty name. Please, please be seated. Please, when you got home, make that your work for this week to pray about new blood. Amen. New blood. A journey. A journey. It's very, very important. Amen. And now, let me go quickly to what I was preaching earlier. Why do we need to, then what is, it, what is the power in the name of Jesus? I already described to you that it came this world to come and redeem us. In order for, to make things right with us and who? God. And God. Nobody else can do that for us. No wonder Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comment on that by me. So there is power in the name of Jesus. The second lesson we read, second, uh, I mean, Philippians chapter 2, verses 8, 9, 10. The Bible said it was given a name above all name, in which at each name, all knee, everybody say, repeat that. Ah. <laughs> Our system is very slow. 
Now, the Bible is saying that the name of Jesus only, there's nothing else that has the power like that of Jesus. Everything, living or dead, must bow down at the end of the day. No other power. Now, why don't you use that name? Why are you not using it? Why are you not using it? It means that you don't believe. Why are you not using it? And you know what? It's also God that is always available when you call. Oh, the Ghostbuster, remember the song, whom do you call? Call upon J-E-S-U-S. Don't just use Jesus at the end of your prayer as if it's a genie that you can just call anyhow. No. It's a name above all name. The name that moves mountains. In the book of, in the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, I have a lot of things to say about this one, but it's okay. How many more minutes do I have? Five? Ah. Okay. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, and I'm going to go. I'm not going to be like Allah Bali, who spent 10 minutes more than uh, his time. <laughs> In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, read, let us read together. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be what? Upon. Look at the first one. God is wonderful. Everybody stand up. I would say Jesus is wonderful. Jesus is wonderful. It's a wonderful God. There's nothing he cannot do. He will surprise you. He will surprise me. He will bless you today that your hair will tinkle. In the mighty name of Jesus. The second one is what? Oh, oh. He is a good counselor. Now, when you go to people, they can, you know, sometimes, when times, sometimes people come to me, and they want to ask me to give the direction, I will be praying. Father, imagine she wanted imagine to Allah now. You have to give me. <laughs> Counselor. But when you come to him, the Bible said in 32 verse 8, I fear Lord no. I don't know. The next one is what? <laughs> ah, can you? Mr. Deniji. Isaiah 9, 6. I think I just want to touch. Almighty God, everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. In John 14, 27, Jesus said, Peace, our peace I will give unto you, not as he would give it. Power in the blood of Jesus. The Bible said he spoke unto the dead, who's been there for four years. He said, Lazarus, and he came out. Hey, somebody was for sick for 38 years. He, on that day, on, that, on the morning, Nick Bato Hey, Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yabelo is not following me in spirit. That's okay. People of God, what I'm trying to tell you is that power belongs to Jesus. Amen. In the book of Matthew 28, 18, the Bible, Jesus said, All power. Ever say all power. All power. All power. All power. All power. All power. Jesus said, All power has been given unto me. There is nobody who has all power. Every gift, even though the Bible said in Ephesians 1 3 that we have been blessed with all spiritual gifts, but it did not give each person, hold on, hold on, hold on for me. It did not give one person the old gift. The first person that he gave a lot of gift to, oh, Miss Suze, oh, my dear, last time I'm going to share here. Nobody has all the gifts. But God, all power belongs to Him. He also said something in Matthew 28. He said, I will be with you till the end of the day. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. There is no name. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ is the access code we need. If you want to call Nigeria at this moment, or you want to call Chicago, if you don't put that area code, it will not go through. If you have an ATM, you might have the card. But if you don't have that code, it will not go through. Jesus is the code. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Your name is this one tower.
Your name is a strong. 